Um, today I want to introduce our MV3 of the, the, uh, the aligner. Uh, we have a two MV3 systems. One is the MV3 C, number C. Another one is number A. The difference for both is uh, number, number C, the wavelength is a 360 nanometer wavelength. 65, sorry, 365. And the number eight, uh, the wavelength is 320 nanometers. So you can see the, this is the wavelength we mark it here. This is the intensity uh, every week or every five week we calibrate that. And uh, you also can see this is one, this one is the part uh, and beta 3A, the 320 nanometer and the intensity and the, and the, and the power. So uh, we also calibrate that uh, weekly on five weeks. Um, so that is uh, the operation part, I mean the alignment part, there is no difference between them. And uh, they want to higher resolution, I mean around one micron or, or 800 nanometer. Probably the number eight is a better because that have a shorter wavelength. So, uh, it depends on you, but for most of the case, if you are if you are pattern, I mean your figure uh, features about uh, la larger than one micron, I mean five hundred, five micron, ten micron. So there is no difference between that between that one. And you, another thing you also need to to consider is uh, if uh, all of your recipe is based on three hundred and sixty five nanometer. So if if you want to transfer to the to here to three hundred and twenty. So all of the parameters should change. So I suggest if you are the you are the MR user, you previously use the 300, uh, 365 nanometer. You need to use this one. The second one I want to introduce the, is our uh, sample holder or sample chart. The, this is the vapor chart. This is the vapor and uh, different size. And this is uh, uh, O ring, or you can call that a, a gasket. And so we have a four type of the four type of the sample chart. So this one you can you can see here a lot of holes on here. This is for three inch vapor. So this one is a three inch vapor. It's used for this sample uh, vapor chart or sample chart is used for three inch. All right. This is a two inch vapor. Uh, this sample chart is for two inch. And this is one inch sample. One inch sample. It's, you can sit on here or on here. So all of these holes is for is for a vacuum. So that means when you do the a alignment, this holes will this hole will hold your sample very tight. If you choose one inch sample, if you use one inch sample, but you you cannot choose this one and this one because you will lose the vacuum. So that means that if your sample is around one centimeter or one inch, two centimeter, or smaller than one centimeter, the best way is this one or this one because uh, you will cover the holes and the vacuum will hold your sample when you move and uh, do the alignment. And uh, this O-ring is used for cover the, cover the stage here. That is only, this O-ring is only used for the high vacuum uh, hard contact. So in most of the case, you don't need, you don't need to do that. This is only used for uh, very small patterns, such as one micron or smaller. Pattern size is three or five micron, so you don't need this one. And uh, another one is uh, the, the mask holder. The mask holder, we have a uh, three type of them. This one is uh, for four inch mask. So you can see the diameter of the, the, the this is the O-ring um, for our vacuum is around the three, 3.5 inch. This one is for three inch mask or four inch mask, it doesn't matter. All right, so the diameter is, about, is around 2.5 inch. This is also for the uh, three inch and the five, uh, four inch mask. So the, the, the dimensions of that is 2.5 inch. I have a four inch mask, so you can see, so this side is a, is a clear side. I mean, this side is a coarse side, this, this side is a chromium side, so a lot of metal deposit on this side. So normally, when you do a when you do a exposure, this the chromium side or iron oxide iron oxide um, part uh, side should contact to your contact to your sample surface. If this is sample, if this is your sample, your photo after spin the photo is on there, and it should it should do like this. This is the four inch mask. This you can hold it here. 
if you move too much, if there, if you lose, uh, expose a hole or a, a small section of the vacuum, you will lose the you will lose the, the force. The, that means the the mask holder cannot cannot fix your mask on there. And also this one also can work for that. And you can move a little bit, such as if your sample, if your pattern on the edge of your sample, I, I'm on the head of your wafer, sorry, <laughs> on the head of your, your mask, you can move a little bit. This is one for the three and the four inch mask. All right. The, the third part of the operation of the of the of the MD is uh, how to operate, how to handle, how to choose the different mode from here. So the operation part, operation of the MB three for A and C, there's no different. The only issue you need to know the, the when you want to do this exposure, you need to choose CP mode. And the weight the number show here on two I same as this one, calibration, calibration value. So that is ready to expose. After you do the exposure, please turn it off. I mean, you need to press the idle process. And this is when you want to do the exposure, you need to press CP and wait for a while until the value is the same as this one. And then, after do the exposure. After that, you press the idle. After you do the exposure, press idle. And show zero. First thing, you need to choose the different the, the mask, the, the mask holder. And turn on the power. So right now, you can place your mask on there. And uh, vacuum mask. So right now, your mask is vacuum and, and tight on, on the holder. Okay. And second one, uh, you need to choose different contact mode. On the MBD3, there are three contact modes. Soft contact, right now it's soft contact. Standard contact, you just lift it off. This is standard, okay. You don't touch anything, it's standard. And uh, high vacuum mode, it's used for the O-ring and for vacuum your sample, I vacuum your small chunk. So in most of the case, you need a soft contact. That is the mo most of the safe way to do that. And uh, I have to mention, I have to say, if you, you want to do the uh, flood exposure, I mean, there is no mask hold on, on, the, on top of your on top of your sample. The best, uh, the only way you can choose is a soft contact. If you want to do the uh, a flood exposure, absolutely, you need a soft contact. So there is a notch, and then you need to fix that here. Uh, here have a two button. You need to press the button and move the. If you only press one, so you can move only X or Y. If you push button at, uh, at the same time, you can move uh, around at, at here. And then, then you do alignment. After after you finish, turn it turn it back to zero. All right. So right now I turn off to, to turn it to, to four. This one can tune in the, the intensities. So here is the most, is the lowest intensity. Here is the uh, high, highest intensity. Um, okay, I, uh, I want to, and uh, then I want to show you the how, how the difference between the soft standard and the high vacuum. So if you press the soft contact, then you lift this up. And lift this up, and you have to make this slide go up, go, go to the go to go to the forward hand. And right here, there there is a vacuum. So right now there is a vacuum. I can show you. That. Oh, this is my sample. Yeah, when I place on there and choose the soft contact, you cannot move, you cannot touch, you cannot move. When I choose standard, is during in this step, it's also the same. It's also the same. Uh, the high vacuum also the same. The, actually, the high vacuum you need to you need to got another. Actually, my sample is much it's, it's too large for the high vacuum. If you use a high vacuum, your sample size should should be smaller than this than this part than this state. Right? This is what I mean, this sample is not suitable for the high vacuum. Okay. So in this in that means during the 
during your alignment, when you, when you do this during alignment, there is no difference because in this stage, all of the okay, in this stage, uh, whatever what whatever uh, mode you choose, soft, standard or high vacuum, the when you lift it up, the chuck will will hold your will make a vacuum hold hold your sample. So in that case, you can move back and forth, left and right, and change the angle of the of the stage. So to make a to make a alignment, this is for y direction, this is for x, this is for angle. So, but the, the difference between the soft standard, okay, soft soft standard and the high vacuum is uh, when you do the exposer. When you do the exposer, I mean the when the when when this. Uh, when this lamp come to here and the shining and the flood and do the exposure on your sample, the soft is uh, soft means the the chuck will still hold. I mean, still vacuum your sample. I mean, the sample still can uh, hold by the vacuum. The standard will be different. The standard means the the nitrogen guides the line. The nitrogen line. The nitrogen line will. Go through this hole from the bottom to up. That means the nitrogen will push your sample up to the to your mask. So that means so that means there will be more pressures between the sample and the and the and the mask. Right? If you choose the high vacuum, so the high vacuum means uh, here there is a hole. This means uh, the high vacuum means uh, uh, when you do a exposure, the uh, here will be vacuum, so you cannot cover that. If, you, if the sample must be uh, only cover on this part, the va this this big hole will vacuum the the, the chamber between the. Between the mask and the uh, sample and uh, and the O-ring, this part will be vacuum, and this part will be push. I mean, nitrogen will be push from the bottom to the to up. So that means more pressures will be applied to the will apply to your sample on the back side. So that means you can make more tight contact. If, but this but but this this mode also probably will attack or scratch your mask. Or I mean, damage your mask because there there will be very hard contact between the between the sample and the mask. So, uh, so that means the high vacuum mode is only used for I mean less than one micron or two micron. So in most of the case, you are, if your wave if your pattern on the on the mask is only five or ten micron, you don't need to do that. All right. so, you can see here. Uh, there is there are three uh, tuning for the x, y, and the, and the angle. So you can see there. This is the coarse tuning. This is fine tuning. I have marked the uh, make a marker on here. So the dashed line means you are right now you are the, you are in the middle, and the solid line means that you are also, you already go to the end. So on here you also can see that the dashed line, solid line. And then this is another dash uh, solid line. This is, or, or this means you already go to the end, to the, to the bottom. This means you are you are ready. You are in the middle. And this one, then you touch the, then this dash solid line to the here. That means you go to the end of the top. So don't go over. Don't go over this two solid line for three of them. Um, Actually, at the beginning, then you come here. Then you, before you do alignment, you need to make sure the the dash line, all of that, all of three of that, you need to stop at the dash line. Here, 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 and here. And this one, if there is no force and the fine tuning, you only need to tune it and angle of that. And uh, and uh, the, another one is to set your your exposure time. So this, uh, a, there is a little bit difference between the, this one and uh, another and uh, number eight. Um, you can see there is a triangle pattern at here. So you can choose different uh, modes. So right now it's in, in minute. So that means right now it's one minute, 1.5 minute. 
uh, half a minute. So this is, uh, so right now you choose 10 seconds, I mean times 10. And then right now it's, uh, so in this case, it's 10 seconds, 5 seconds, and 20 seconds. This one you already choose a second, 1 second, a half second, and 2 seconds. So you, you can choose different mode. Okay, you also can choose 10 hours, hours, 10 minutes, minutes, 10 seconds. All right, we'll come back. Yeah, back. And this one, uh, number 8, it's, uh, digital one. So you can choose second uh, minute and hour. So right now it's the 10 second. So this part is the 10 second and point zero zero. So right now this means a 10 second and point six, 10 point six second. All right, let's start. The, when, you want, when you already finish the spin, the photo is on your sample and you need to place your mask on there and place the sample on the chart. So the first step, when you want to do the exposure, you need to fix your mask onto the, um, into the slot. Make this pipe. And the second one, you need to slide the, the mask of sample holder and, and, and the sample in there. If, uh, if your pattern it's a little bit off from your sample. The best way is to move your mask or move your sample a little bit. This is the best way to, uh, to do a coarse alignment. All right. If you move the, if you use the uh, X and the Y stage, it's not can it kind of cannot move so much, too much. I mean, so the best way is use a tweet, use your tweezer to push your sample back and forth, up and down, left and right, to find out your, your, your pattern. Or you can, you can, you can take off your, your mask, move a little bit, such as here. Make sure there is no, uh, make sure there is no vacuum holes left. All right, and so this is the first step. You place your mask and slide in the, the sample. And, this, and then you need to lower the state a little bit. Because uh, you cannot, you don't know the what the, the previous user used. Some of user use very thin wafer and a very thin uh, mask, and some of user use a glass slide. You know that is very thick, and uh, probably the mask uh, mask thickness is also different. So, uh, so make that to make sure the safety is enough for your for your mask and for your sample. You lower the, the state first. And, uh, uh, clockwise is down and anti-clockwise is up. I mean, down is the means uh, the safe is going down. So slide the um, slide this node to, to the end and lift up, lift up from the from this side to the to the forward one. and come here. And right now you can see the sample close to the mask gradually. So right now you have to make sure. The, the sample is, is not too tight to the to your to your mask. So if you when, if during your lift up, if you cannot do that anymore, so that means your sample already contact to, the, to your mask. So in that case, you need to come back and lower your uh, lower your state again. All right. So right now uh, it's good enough. There's enough space between that. You can you can see here is show contact. Here show contact and. Uh, I choose soft, soft mode. So how to make sure your sample is connect, con contact to your, to your mask. The, the best way is to make sure this is go to the end, this no go to the end, this lift up to the, to the other end, and uh, gradually tuning the, tuning the Z direction, gradually. So, when you cannot tuning it anymore, so that means it's already contact. And uh, you also can see here is a Newton ring when you, okay, when, you, when the sample contact to the mask. So it's already show here. Probably you cannot see that from the video, but, but when you come here and do the training, do the check out the training, I will show you how that is looks like. All right, when you cannot tune in the, the Z direction anymore, and you, are, and you also can see the Newton ring, that means you already make a good contact. So right now, it's ready to exposure if you don't need to do alignment. 
All right. If you do want to do alignment, you can tune in, you can change, you can drop uh, lift down a little bit, or use a slide back and forth. So when the slide is down, that means there is a little gap around uh, 20 or, or 30 micron between the between the mask and 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 the, the, the your sample surface. If you lift it up, it's contact. Lift it down, slide down. That means that there is a, a there is a gap. So this this gap is used for is doing doing your alignment and tuning on, 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 the, on this stage. So when you can see when you lift it up, the stage the separation is off. When you when you when you drag it back, the so separation show up. Before you okay, right now it's ready to exposure. So when you want to exposure, you you have to make sure you make a good contact. This is the first thing. Second thing, show here, show contact is up. Separation, there is no separation. The separation is off. So this one is used for hard mode. You don't need to do that. And uh, next step is turn on the pop. With the with the value uh, same as the here. Uh, uh, calibrate the uh, calibration and the, the value. And then it's ready to do the exposure. I already said the the exposure time is one 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 ten second. So after I do the exposure, come here. After ten seconds, it will it will finish automatically. All right, that's it. And what you need to do is uh, press the CR1 mode. It's the idle process. And uh, lower lower your, your stage. Three or, or four or five turns. And uh, turn it back. Slide off your sample. and take off your mask. Mask method, turn it off. This is the uh, dummy load. So turn off the soft contact. Turn off the power. So after you turn off power, here is the vacuum. That will hold your dummy load, all right? And uh, next, the last step, turn off the, the lamp. Turn off the lamp. And finish the lock sheet. This will be, this will, will be used for, for, for me to track uh, what value of the power lamp and what, what, what problem up here. So you can see every, uh, this is my, this is me, it's calibration. And other users say it's good. So that means it's, I, I think this uh, the tool is, is ready to use. And it, you also can check the, the log sheet before you use that. Probably someone say it's not very good or some others uh, you still talk about here. All right. and